Alright, hear me out. Superhero movies are great, but unconventional superhero movies are even better. What's going on everybody? My name is Cody Curtis, and with M. Night Shyamalan's conclusion to his unconventional, unbreakable superhero trilogy coming out, Glass, I figure it's time for us to not only analyze the first film in this trilogy, Unbreakable, but break down why Elijah Price is a character that we should be inspired by and we should be inspiring to be like. But before we get into that guys, before we go too far, you should know that this video along with every other video on this channel is partnered with Sandwich John Films. Now, if you're not sure what Sandwich John Films is, SandwichJohnFilms.com is a prime website for you to not only get the latest movie reviews and movie news about what's going on in the industry, it's also an opportunity for you to win free movie screenings. That means free movies you can see in advance of everybody else. So if this sounds great to you, or you're just a little bit curious, then head down to the link in the description to sandwichedonfilms.com and go check us out. But now it's time to get back to the review. So Elijah Price, look, I understand that this sounds crazy, that looking to Elijah Price as somebody to be inspired by is a little insane, because he's a genocidal maniga maniac who's willing to kill millions of people just to make sure that his his dreams and his aspirations come to reality. Look, I'm not saying you have to be like the guy. Heavens knows we don't need another Charles Manson on our hands. However, what I am saying is there are certain aspects and certain things that need to be analyzed about Elijah Price that we can apply into our own lives. But if we're going to understand Elijah Price as a character, we need to go back to the very, very beginning when he was born. Now, if you don't know about anything about Elijah Price, the character, let me break it down for you. Elijah Price is a comic book loving man who has osteogenesis in perfecta. This means that his bones are very brittle and they'll break pretty much anything. If you lightly punch him in the shoulder, you might give him a fracture. And Elijah Price, as a child, as a youth, was always looking for something better. He always hid inside because all the other kids, they would bully him. They would call him Mr. Glass because he's so fragile and so breakable. And this hurt Elijah. This made Elijah insulted. This made Elijah want to run away from society. But one day, he found an outlet. He found something that could help him explain his reality. And that came in the form of comic books. When the characters reached the magazine, they were exaggerated. As always happens. This is vintage. And once he got his first comic book, this not only helped him make sense of the reality he was living, but it also gave him a sense of passion and love for something greater than himself. And it gave him a way to explain the world. Because Elijah Price, as a character, as a man, believes that comic books are an exaggeration of the truth. They're an exaggeration of what the world has been told. So that means that in his perception, comic books are a form of history that have just been expanded upon and over exaggerated to the point of unbelievability. And Elijah Price also believes that if he is super breakable, there must be somebody on the other side who is a superhero, who will not break no matter what the circumstances are. And this is where we get introduced to David Dunn. Now, this is a very key part of the story, and this is where spoilers are coming in. So before we continue, if there's anyone listening to this analysis and you do not want to be spoiled on Unbreakable and haven't seen it, then tune the video out now. Elijah Price, we find out at the very end of Unbreakable, is a supervillain. But is he really? Or is he a man who does really, really corrupt things in order to push his reality into being. What he believes to be right, what he believes to be true. Because let's look at it from this way. At the very beginning, Elijah Price is just a man who's a comic book loving man who found an explanation for himself for the world. David Dunn, although he might be super strong and he might not be able to get sick and he's not really too fond of water, he's a man who has over excelled in his physical capabilities and his willingness to help people, but he's still just an average Joe. 
But what Elijah Price begins to do is whisper into David Dunn's ear and push his perception of the world onto David Dunn. And eventually, David Dunn starts to believe him. Elijah Price not only whispered into David Dunn's ear so continuously, Elijah Price believing that superheroes and the super magnificent world of the superhero and comic book character pushed his perception into reality. Now, this is as far as I'm going to go when it comes to Elijah Price as a character on the surface level. But what can we take away from Elijah Price as a character overall? What we can take from this man is he had a passion for something. He was driven about something. He was passionate about bringing his mindset, his thought process about the world around him into reality. And through hard work, through discipline, through whispering in David Dunn's ear, through manipulation, he was able to bring what he believed to be true into actually being reality. Now, I'm not saying that we need to manipulate people. Manipulating people is a very heinous and awful thing to do. But what we can take away from Elijah Price as a character is what he was willing to do and the hard work he was willing to put forward and that lesson that teaches into our own lives. We're all dreamers here. We all have things that we want to accomplish. We all have goals that might be larger than life. But without hard work, without our own determination, without our own passion towards it, we're not going to be able to accomplish it. And more often than not, there will be people in our lives that are going to help us accomplish those goals to bring our willingness, to bring our dreams into reality. And I think more than anything else, the character of Elijah Price, what this teaches is that even though we may all have dreams, we have that hard work, we have that goal, we have that work ethic ahead of us, it's still going to take a long time. Look at the timeline of events that have led up to to the conclusion of this Unbreakable Trilogy Glass. We started out with Elijah Price as a youth, just trying to explain the world. Then he grew up and ran his own comic book art gallery. And then right after that, he meets David Dunn. And then after meeting David Dunn, he finds his perception of the world. He pushes his perception into reality. And it's only now, with the upcoming film Glass, that Elijah Price's reality, what he dreamed and hoped for, is finally here. It's finally arrived. And we just got to have that in our mindset. That's why Elijah Price is such a great character. Because we might have talents and skills that we don't know about. Those can be brought into light. And we might have goals, dreams, aspirations that seem bigger than life. But the fact is, we can all have what we set out to do. We can all have what we want. We can change the world. But we've got to have in the back of our minds, hard work determination and the willingness to succeed and wait as long as needed to accomplish what we have to to change the world for the better and that's why unbreakable is such an amazing movie because not only is it a superhero movie not only is it a comic book movie but is a film like elijah price is a character that teaches us exactly what we need to do and how patient we need to be to make sure that our futures are exactly the way we want them to be. And everybody, that is my analysis of Unbreakable and more specifically, Elijah Price as a character. I really hope that you enjoyed what you've listened to here and whatever your thoughts may be about Elijah Price, whatever your thoughts are on this analysis, I want to hear them. So make sure you leave some comments in the comment section down below and I will be sure to get to as many of them as I possibly can because after all, I love hearing your thoughts. If any of you really loved and enjoyed this analysis, then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if there are any of you listening who want to get in contact with me and start a brilliant conversation about movies the links to my youtube channel and social media are all in the description down below and so until next time stay curious keep your mind strong by learning about the films that you love and i hope you all have a phenomenal rest of your day